Hello friends, Jess here, and I'm back to share with you um, my revamped stamp organization. Um, it's been working really, really well for me, so I wanted to share it with you um, in hopes that maybe it will work for you. Um, because stamps are challenging for many people. And they, they were for me until I found this system. Game changer. So, what I'm showing you here is two of the containers I use for my stamp organization. I have this cute little container I got at TJ Maxx a couple years ago. I think it was in the bathroom aisle. It's already done. It's got these different compartments that fit the 3x4s perfectly and 4 by 6 perfectly. Then I have these scrapbook.com medium organizers, divided organizers. They fit 4x6 and 6x8 stamps beautifully, um, vertical or horizontally. I don't have, I, I have another one that has 6x8s. I didn't grab that one. These are all 4x6 stamps. Um, but really, really works well. You can fit a lot in here. Um, and it's that like heavy duty cardboard with like a vinyl covering. Really solid. For the price so they go on sale often so if you're interested in that I'll make sure to put a link and um, you can check these out all right so for my stamp organize my physical organization so I have two it's a two-step process here so for my physical organization I organize them by manufacturer and then within the manufacturer I have like micro organization like alphas, numbers, images, sentiments, um, Halloween, Christmas, so on and so forth. Whatever makes sense to you. So for example, let's see if I could do, let's do this one because it's a bit more variety. So I have Heidi Swap section here. I have Heidi Swap words, Heidi Swap, and words is like sentiments or single words or phrases. To me, that's words, right? And I know they're also going to contain images on there, but that's what I call words. And then there's numbers, there's Heidi Swap Planner, Halloween, and Christmas. So this is my Heidi Swap section, but there's subcategories within it. I did the same thing for Carrie Bradford, Honey Bee Mama Elephant Paper Person, so on and so forth. So that's my physical organization. And then I've upgraded all my stamps to these. Uh, stamp sleeves, you can get them HeidiSwapShop.com Studio Calico also has them. I'll make sure to put a link. These are great. They're heavy duty. Like they're rigid. Before I was using these flimsier ones, which also are great a great value for the money. Um, I just really like the rigidness, like the, the sturdiness of these. So, and like Studio Calico just had their sale 40% off everything. That is the time to stock up on stuff like this. So I really like this. Again, I'll put a link for you below. So I use these sleeves and all, most of the stamps I purchase have the manufacturer on there, but if not, I just put a little label on the back. Um, I don't know if I have an example of that. But I do a label on the back. Yeah, I don't think I have. Oh, right here. So this one, the manufacturer's not on the stamp. So I just do a label on the back so I know who it is. So that is my physical organization of my stamps. So, which is super helpful, right? Like, you could do this and be fine. Be like, oh, I want Heidi Swap words. And I can just flip through, right, until I find what I'm looking for. But I didn't want to have to flip through everything. And I also wanted to know, at a quick glance, I wanted to be able to look through and find what I'm looking for. Because as I've said before, you could have stamps that have all the holidays on one stamp set. Or you could have stamps that have sentiments and flowers. Right? You have to decide how you would want to organize those in your physical organization. Um, whatever you would reach for more in that stamp, file it under there. But the key to fixing that issue is a catalog and that's what I've made is a catalog so let me show you how I've done my catalog so my catalog what I've done is I've grabbed um, all the images from the internet or if I didn't have 
internet images. I just took a picture and uploaded it. They're not true to size. I'm okay with that. Um, but this gives me a visual representation of what I have in a catalog style. I've got the brand or the manufacturer up at the top here. And then what I did was I broke in the catalog out by my micro organization, right? Alphas, numbers, calendar, planner, sentiment, shapes, icons, Halloween, Christmas, books, music, love, sports, so on and so forth. Those are all in these tabs here. So I'm going to go and say I want to look at sentiments, right? So I'm at sentiments. So, and then I look, I don't really know, whoops, sentiments right here. So I'm like going to look through and I'll be like, hmm, what do I want to use? Keep looking. As you can see, I have Allie Edwards. And I'm like, oh, I want this one by Carrie Bradford. So then I'm going to go to my container under Carrie Bradford sentiments. I have it right here. Um, I could go back and be like, all right, oh, Felicity Jane. I want the amp. Do I have Felicity Jane? No, I don't have it handy. <laughs> um, oh, Studio Calico, right here. Studio Calico, um, it's under sentiments, girl talk. I want this stamp. So I'm going to go back over here and Studio Calico. Oh, you know what? I think this is a six by eight. Um, oh, no, it's right here. Good. It's a four by six. So again, um, if it's a six by eight, you might want to make note of that if it's a different size, but there it is under Studio Calico. Super easy to find. But what I love about this more than anything is I can see what I have at a very quick glance instead of going like this, right? Which is doable, but it's kind of obnoxious. I'm not going to lie. Didn't love that. This is a game changer. And so for the... Let's find a, these are Halloween. Let's find love here. All right, so you have this Heidi Swap stamp. It's a little hard to see. The quality is not the best in the image, but it gives me an idea. I pre basically know what's on here. Um, there are words, there are banners, there are hearts. This could be sentiments, this could be love, this could be Valentine's, this could be words. Like This could be many, many things. So if you're like, well, I want to put it under words and valentines, right? All you have to do is make two copies of this image and file it under both those categories. File one under words and one under love or hearts or valentines, whatever makes sense to you, and that you're going to know where it lives, right? You're going to know you have it. And I would just put like Heidi Swap filed under love right in your image even though you'll have it under two categories you'll know in your physical section where it's filed or you could be like me I already know that most of my stamps are gonna have words and images majority of them I just file them under what I would mainly seek it out for but it's the the best part about this is that it's so easy to just flip through you really don't need multiple images under you don't need one image is under multiple categories. That's just how I view it, but if that makes more sense to you, by all means. But how awesome is this? So easy. I just love how quick I can find something. Again, Heidi Swap, Halloween. Boom. Look how easy I found that. So, I, and this binder, I will link the binder below. I will link the inserts below. I use Canva just to tee up my photos. I can get two images per eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. You can make your catalog bigger or smaller. And as I purchase the stamps, I add the images. So, and then I file them in my physical when I get them. So, I think I've covered it all. I'm just so excited about the system I had to share. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to comment below if you have any questions. I'm happy to answer. And happy organizing. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.